Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Hello, viewer. KGR. Good afternoon. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, what do we have here today? I'll be working on this 2012. It's a Toyota Sienna. I'm going to be replacing the radiator. The reason for that, the radiator is leaking. So we have to replace it. Please, uh, if you're new to my channel, you're quite welcome. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I want to ask the audience, I want to know how I'm doing because your feedback really helped me to improve in any area that I need improvements. Whatever you've seen in this video, leave a comment, questions, anywhere you think KG can continue to improve because I'm here to serve the community because you can't know it all. That's the way I see it. So I'm learning as well. Build it while you fly. So having said that, uh, you know my slogan, let's go. We're getting it right now. I'm gonna bring you along and show you what we need to do. We thank God for another beautiful day, KG. Let's go. Bro. All right, so what we need to do to do this job first, I'm gonna take off this guy here because this guy is gonna come out by sitting right on the radiator. But we're gonna drain the coolant right down there because you can you can reuse the coolant, but you know only bought one gallon. So I'm gonna reuse the one that he has in here before. So I'm gonna drain the I'm gonna drain the plug right here. So let me get, let me get this guy. You might not be able to see. Probably you you will see the let me bring the camera down here so you can see when it's draining right there. So move this guy. So the draining plug is right on the almost right here where my hand is. Just go down right here. You can actually go through here to do that. You don't do that now. Coming down. There you go. You can see the coolant coming down already. So you can't miss it. See the coolant is coming down. So when we open up the radiator cover, it's gonna make the coolant feel a little flow better. See right there. So why that one is draining right there? So we can start to work. Let me get my gloves. Look up this and uh, We'll continue, KG, right? All right, so we're gonna take off this thing right here while the coolant is draining right there. Oh, wow, it's kind of looking worn out. Let's see if we can get it right here. Let's see if we can get it flat. Stop the camera. Come on, stop it. Alright, so we're gonna take off that. So I was able to use this to take off that thing. Come on, bro. Yeah. Today is my 
So that's that. So the next thing, we, the reason why we take off this, because this radiator is bolted to the condenser. So there are a couple of bolts there. I think it's four. So we're gonna lose this guy, this guy, so we can separate this guy from from here. So we take off this first. So we're gonna lose this horn with 12 and we'll be hanging in there. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, 2012. 2012 to 2011. From 2011 to 2016. Yeah, the same thing. So we're just going to leave that one again there for the folks back here. So we'll have to look for this boat in the future. <laughs> in the future. What? What are you doing? Hmm? Yeah, I met the oil there. I don't know if somebody walked there or something. Where do I mean? I want to know why it's fine. I don't 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 know why it's fine. Alright, so we're going to move this on the flat. I'm going to cover this black face. Because we don't know if anybody can. I don't know why it's fine. I don't know why it's fine. Yeah, we're working on the car. I don't know what the car is coming. Why not put the one? Yeah, well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Who owns this car? Anyway, so Both I like to keep it separately. So what I normally do when I lose this kind of boat is just put it down here. So that I don't miss it with the other boat. What do I do with me? So let me get this part here. Take all this kind of water. Okay now this is free from here. So we're gonna take off this guy. We're gonna take right now, so we're gonna go ahead and lose this guy. Okay, we're gonna take off So sit on this thing right here, we put this aside. So now you can see the radiator. See the reason why I was saying that this thing is bolted down, so we have to lose this guy right here. There's four of this. There's gonna be there's gonna be another one right at the bottom there. Okay, you're not coming accident. Yeah, the car is going So there's two more at the bottom there. You won't be able to see that. But it looks like that boat is missing there. And that boat is missing. So there's two boats missing right at the bottom there. So probably, I don't know what somebody did there. No. Anyway, so let's go ahead. We're going to take out this. Uh, let's take out this horse now. 
when I'm gonna come here, let me bring the camera because you guys can see. Let me just explain what I'm doing is. So we're gonna take off this hose. Then we're gonna take off this guy right here. And there's another one right here. Then we're gonna disconnect this guy, disconnect that. Then we can bring this whole thing out. Once we bring that out, we have access to the rest of the thing. Okay, so what I can do is let me place the camera this way like this. Probably you guys can see. I'll stop it at 50 clean. All right, so I took out the stem bolt right here, the two stem bolt. We disconnected this. So we're going to take the radiator fan out now. See if this guy can make it out here. I believe can make it out here. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, this one is done. And I'm going to put it now. So, the radiator is there. So, there's a, uh, there's a clips right here. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to bring the camera. So yeah. You guys can see. The next thing we need to do. Sorry about the shaking. Please be here with me. Okay, see right down here. We're going to take off this guy. Then we take off this hose. Then we take off this hose. Once we do all of that, then the radiator will come out. We'll separate it from this guy right here. Then we'll bring it out. All right, KG. All right, KG, we're back. So like I was saying before, whoever worked on this car before, I don't know, they did a very bad job. So the radiator, like I was saying before, the radiator and the condenser, they use this to put the condenser to the radiator. This guy right here, the punch a hole right in here. See right there? Hope you guys can see it. Yeah. So they punch a hole right in here and punch a hole through the radiator to like hold these two together. The same thing they did here. But why they do that, it's not really a good job because you can see the radiator is, the, the both condenser, the radiator, they're scratching on each other so that can make the radiator leak you can see the radiator so i couldn't lose this thing because it was like a ribby so i have to uh break it through the front on the on the radiator side here because since we're changing the radiator we have to you know uh, break it through the front but the thing now if i'm going to put it back now i have to figure out what i have to do to be able to put this thing properly if not, this whole thing is going to be a, a gigantic mess. So we're going to take off this anyway. Put this aside right there. Then the hose in the bottom there. That is what. That's the next thing I have to do now. So I'm going to take off that. Uh, take off that hose. See if I can get the clamp there. Okay, let me show you guys. I'm trying to do See that hose right there at the bottom there? So the clamp is facing towards the bottom. So the clamp is not facing the right position that I can be able to grip it. So I'm gonna figure out to see if I can move the radiator around a little bit to get to that clamp. Once I get to that, I'll bring you guys back. So I was able to lift up the radiator up to maneuver my way to get to that hose there. This is where the radiator sits. There's one left on the other side. This one is right here. Make sure you have this done. Or if not, the radiator is going to be bouncing up and down. Anyway, let me match up the radiator. So apparently, the owner bought the radiator from the junkyard. So what can I say? Uh, I have to put it in, that's my job. But one thing I will not be responsible for, 
So when you're using an old radiator, you're taking a big risk. Number one, the radiator can be leaking. The radiator can be overheating. But uh, you guys see that's what it is. Let me see what they have here. We need target. Let's put a target. See where the jump guy they have right here. 2012, they have it there. Stick right there. So you know it's from the joint guy. They cut it. Cut off the post right there. So I'm going to take off this guy. Take off all those things there. Hopefully, there's no leak. The chance is taken. So there you have it, folks. Okay, so I took off all the hoses, but I just wanted to put something out because I, I work on a vehicle, I think it was in 2004 or something, uh, it's the old model, uh, you have to check that as I have a video for that. The radiator wasn't leaking per se, but you see this guy right here, where the coolant go through, that was where it's leaking. You see this, it's rusted already, so it was leaking from there. So the the transmission flow was leaking from there so that was why that radiator was replaced it wasn't the radiator was leaking and you can you guys can see that how rusted is this guy so i'm just going to be praying that uh, everything work out well uh, i'm not responsible for this my job is just to install so we're going to go back in there probably spray something and again i don't know like that or not Go ahead and start to install the right here. So the only good thing that I noticed about this old one is this. I just want to point that out. You see this sitting right here? That's where the condenser sits. But if you look at this one right, we don't have it. But the condenser sits right there. The condenser have a little rubber. And bring the camera close. So when you look at the condenser, right? There's a camera out there, right? Okay, see the condenser right there? See the, that little rubber? There's a rubber piece of rubber underneath there. So that's where the condenser is gonna sit on the radiator. So it's like the old one was broken off or something. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna go in. Drop that back, go. Same before. See, look closely. You see, the radiator now is sitting. Uh, the condenser is sitting in that little thing that I showed you. So it makes that condenser balance. The only thing now I have to make sure that this condenser is not resting on the radiator, rubbing on it. 
so I'm going to find something like a piece of print brush up uh, to put right there to be able to separate that. So it won't be rubbing on it. Alright. So actually, things is going to work out pretty good. I'm going to show you in a minute. Because right now, the radiator has the thing that it sits on. So this guy right here is going to demarcate the radiator from the condenser. So once I put this guy there, those little things they are very important they might look like uh but very very important see so now we cannot push this guy down down sliding top okay. now we cannot put the turbo so you can see the turbo sorry from not coming to be okay now you can see you see the separation now so the reason because of that that thing that I showed you earlier on that was sitting on top of the on the radiator, that little cushion right there that was sitting right here. So it's what separated the whole thing out. So actually everything worked out well now you can see. So now the separation is there, so it won't be rubbing on this guy in the future. So at the end of the day, there is a usual that little bush in there was very, very uh, you know, useful. All right. So I'm gonna tie this guy and get my little, my little guy here. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna connect the hose. I'm gonna connect all these hoses. Sorry. Okay, you need a volunteer. I'm gonna connect this hose. See what I oh what I normally do once I take off this hose, I put a plug on it to stop it from bleeding. The same side right there. So I'm gonna connect all of that, connect the other hose at the bottom, then uh Continue to move. So I connected everything. So if you see this right now, the clips, you see the way I put it, so that the next guy don't have to suffer, have to go through the bottom. You know, when you put it like this, it's easy. When you take off the radiator coat, you can be able to grab this guy at the front and be able. To, if he's facing all the way bottom, then you have to take off the plastic underneath. You know, so now you don't have to do all of that. So everything is reconnected. and just not put the. The fan and uh, continue. So we'll go ahead and pull on this fan first. This fan has a so this fan it has a slot that goes on on the radiator. Let me grab my light first. This light is very useful, especially on the night. Sometimes working inside.
So sometimes the fan can play a little trick on you. You might think that it's inside. Just want to make sure that it go through that slot. Once it go through that slot, then it's going to come through this bracket here. You can't miss it. Right there. Once it go through that, then you look at it. You laugh very well. Then you know you are in the ball game. So we're going to put this both right here now. The 10. And this guy right here. And uh, we're doing good so far. So go ahead. Put that 10 bolt there. We are doing really good. Everything seems to be very well. Put some stuff on this. So you want to be mindful with this guy. Especially when this radiator is cool too. But when you when that guy is open, the radiator will come back. Everything looks beautiful right here. Then we're just gonna bring this guy right now with our bracket there. So like I was saying before, if you look this one right, see there's a bush right there, there is one right here. So because this was an old radiator, it come with one. So we're not gonna use this, take off this too. If not, we can't be able to put it properly, install it properly. So you know those little things that they really matters when you're working on the car. You know? So I can tell you a story like I always do. I'm a storyteller. <laughs> I like to tell a story, right? Listen to this guy. So you will learn something too. You know I mean? I'm a learner. And I like to tell stories. There we go. I see properly this bracket was rolling. Me. So, what is the story I want to tell? So there was a day I was working. I was busy. Listen to this now, so we don't make a mistake. 
as well. You know, we all learn from mistakes. You know, I learn from my mistakes. You know, you can learn from my mistake too. Okay, there. So I was working on a car, right? So while I was working on that car, I was very, very busy. So this guy brought a, a vehicle for me just to change the, the oil. Just oil change. Anybody can do that, right? So well that is drain the oil, bada boom, bada boom, everything good. I lose the oil filter. But why I lose the oil filter? I didn't look. Let me see if I have, I don't know if I have the oil filter here. Or at least that to demonstrate exactly what happened. So the old filter, the old filter that was that was uh, that I took up. You, you know the o-ring that goes on top of that filter right there so i didn't i didn't look at the filter i just lost it and i just dump it in the place that i dump my filter so the o-ring was not there so the o-ring was still right on the on the on the on the oil filter uh, uh, uh housing i didn't know so now because i was just in hurry so I just go ahead, you know, put the old filter, put an oil on it, or go right there, put the old filter there, boom. Then I tie the oil filter. So while I was tying it, I kind of noticed like, it's like, you didn't really go tight one uh, you know, like, you know, when you just put the filter in there. So it was like something that was still moving around. So usually I just use my hand to tie the oil filter. Well, in any way, I tie it. And he put the oil in the car. The guy start the car. <laughs> All right, sir. So the guy started the car. You know, I look at everything. It's good. You know, I want to go back to the next job. So the guys drove. As the guy was driving off, I see oil like spilling all over. Thank God I was in the mall. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy, man. So I have to run down, tell the guy to drive around. The guy drove by, said the oil is leaking. I would have blown that into brother. So the guy came back and jacked up the car. She was leaking from the oil filter. So I was wondering what happened. So when I took out the new one, uh, I saw the old, old ring. There. So I had to check up that. You know, it cost me money, but now I have to. <laughs> I have to make sure that I, I put back the oil, and he bought a very expensive oil. So it cost me almost about forty something dollars for my mistake. But I was glad because it would have cost me a whole engine, you know. So I end up uh, spending forty something dollars to buy another oil. Just that little couple of minutes ago. The oil, everything in the engine was was gone. You know, so that's my story. Don't let nobody tell your story. <laughs> Always tell your story. But we learn from mistakes. Cause mistake is part of it. But not to make a one that will cost engine. So I was glad that I, I didn't blow up, blow up the guy engine. Cause it would have gone like, hey, I you just changed my oil the other day. Look what happened. And I know exactly what transpired. But thank God for that. But that's it for this job. We're gonna put the antifreeze. We're gonna leave it like this. We're not gonna put this guy here. Put the antifreeze, start the car, and make sure there's no leak. And then we'll go on finish this job. Let me show you guys now. Everything looks nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. This one have a cover. I was out. I was able to save some antifreeze there. So we're just gonna put the antifreeze there now and then. Oh. See, I forgot something while I was telling my story, right? While I was telling my story now, I forgot something. Can you guess what I forgot? Yeah, the tempo that goes in here. You know, I kept it in a very special place today. So I'm gonna put this tempo back. Make sure that this guy, this latch, don't jump around. Put the tempo back. So we are not finished yet. Not quite yet. <laughs> Are we there yet? 
<laughs> you remember that commercial? <laughs> right? We are not there yet. Was it commercial or the movie? I don't remember. Like I saw uh, this new commercial with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the former governor. So it was a very funny commercial. The commercial came on on, on, on one of my videos I was watching. Uh oh. But like sometimes when I'm home, I like to watch my videos just to see. You know? See what I did and what I could have done. So while I was watching this commercial, came on. You know, I was supposed to make a, you know, like I. <laughs> it was it was kind of funny. You need to see, <laughs> like like a good uh, what was that State Farm? Was it State Farm? Yeah, like a good neighbor. It was like neighbor. They like no neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> neighbor, uh, no, you know, pronouncing it right, neighbor. <laughs> when you see that, you're going to laugh. Hey, it's funny, man. You know, sometimes you got to laugh, man. Don't go through the day without laughing. Even the Bible confirmed that it says laughter is a good medicine to your soul. That's why people pay and go and see com comedian. Just for them to tell you, tell one or two jokes, you laugh, you know. It's good for the soul, it's good for the body. I can tell you that. And I like to laugh at myself. <laughs> Especially when I talk about my African fufu. <laughs> I say, KD, it's all from that. Oh boy, I'm from Africa too. I was the born and raised in Nigeria. Yeah. That's where I'm from, now you know. If you didn't know, now you know. KG was born and raised in Nigeria. Okay, now we are good now. So now can I put the antifreeze? And then uh, start the car. Hopefully, nothing is leaking. Then we put this cover, then we call it KG. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a car. Make sure that I roll it. Wash it out with some water, you know, some little anti trees out from the body. All those red before I wash it out. So there might be a little bit of smoke you see coming out. Yeah, it's normal. After I run for a certain time on uh, those smoke, they're going to dissipate. vehicle down. I jacked it up today but the reason why I did that I was thinking if I would be able to take off that hose that I showed you guys earlier on I would go to the bottom but apparently everything just was right in the morning. It was a touch line right there. So I'm going to jack it down and uh, then it continue to idle and I would check. Or maybe I'm uh, probably leave it like this for so what you guys think. Instead of me bringing it down, let me leave it like that for so that I will be able to check so I can go on this one time if there's anything I can just look through. Let's see. Alright, so why I do? I don't want to waste the thing. <laughs> just kidding. Uh I'll bring you guys back. Okay, gee. So I already go ahead and start a car. You can see, you can see that bubbling right there bubbling a little bit there so supposing you see that coming you can blade it this vehicle have a bleeding post right here you got right here from the
gonna do it right there, baby. So this piece, we go down more, and then we'll make sure we get out all the hair inside, and then we should be fine from there. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead now, do that. this off that couple of days ago. Hope you learned something today. Alright there I see it on this job. I hope you learned something today. When you're walking high, see the way the gloves look, but that doesn't matter. So long as the job go well. That's it. Shout out to Brooklyn. Let's share love in Brooklyn way. Please let me know what you think. What you think will really help me in you know, a continue to grow in this uh, YouTube channel? Please consider subscribing. Love you. I will see you on my next episode. KG, you know the drill. I will see you next time. Peace. We are gone.